Hey there YouTube, this is my homemade evaporative cooler, or swamp cooler, or desert cooler. Um, this particular unit works really good. That's the front of it. We got a toggle switch here. That's the fan switch. And then another switch, that's the pump switch. I'm moving it slowly because there's water in it right now. This is the back side. This is the pad with a filter cover over it. Other than that, this is what it would look like. This is called a Master Cool um, Aspen Pad. It's just got little flakes and shavings of aspen tree pad, um, bark on it. Yeah, we'll open it up. Okay. So, as you can see, I've got a squirrel can, uh, cage fan right here. This is a three speed motor, but I'm actually running it only on one speed, which is high. And then there's some wiring over there. Um, this is the, the cover for the pad. In, uh, here, right here, we have the pump which is the little giant uh, 1Y or Y1, one of those two, I don't know. Um, it moves 300 to 400 gallons per hour. And we have a hose that runs up here to uh, another piece of hose that has a whole bunch of holes in it with a rag uh, zip tied to it, you know, all the way around it, and I call that the wet bar. So basically what it's doing is it's sucking hot, dry air, evaporating, blowing it out. It's very, 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 very simple. Um, this works best in dry climates and hot temperatures. And that's what it's like here. Very. So, these things also work best not just sitting in your room or inside. They have to have air drawn in from outside on this part. Um, these are great for sitting on the patio and aiming it at you, or you know, whatever. So I'm going to be building a couple more models soon. Um, this right here is the fill port, because the water does evaporate. And I just have a cover that goes over it right there. So, I'll install it up there and show you what it looks like. Alright, so I have it installed. We got a piece of cardboard up to block off the open part of the window. First we'll turn on the pump and let it sit for about 20 seconds. And here the water immediately starts spraying there on the pad, wetting it down. Now we'll turn on the fan. And the air is cold. This will cool off this bedroom. Not a problem. And then whenever it needs water, it's got a float inside there that turns off the pump so it doesn't run dry. And as soon as there's enough water to run, it'll turn the pump back on. But this is the film port. Just lift this cover up. And there it is. Right there. And you can see inside of it. might need to see for this too. But, yeah. It's a very chilled air. So think of it this way. 
You know how on a hot day when you start to sweat, you get cold, or you feel that chilling sensation? That's evaporation cooling. Um, see this? All it's doing is you have this in a container. It's putting water on the top and making it run down and just circulating it throughout the system. And you have a fan blowing through it, and that cools the air. That's all there is to it. I'll be posting some more videos soon. Alright, hope you enjoyed.